we're gonna go over what guns I got in this month. So we're not gonna do them in any particular order, just things I saw that I had to have. If you have something the collector doesn't have, Instagram, de-message him. De-message, direct message him. And if it's for sale, definitely DM. send it. Somebody told me the other day there was a Glock for sale. Uh, no but, way, no, no, ladies no, 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 and gentlemen. No, no, no. It was a Lego Glock. Illegal? No, Lego. First of all, there's videos out there. This is the pivot gun. Now, I just got it, so I have, I've shot it once. And I put a suppressor on it, actually shot really nice. It's kind of awkward, but I kind of like it. Be a great backpack gun. Uh, Does this come out any further? Oh, there, there we go. go. There you go. Put the mag extra mag in there. Oh, that's I cool. tried it, it worked. But it takes 33 round mags or 15 round mags, just whatever, Glock mags. Can you? When I shot it, it shot fairly well. I just dropped an SRO on it for the hell of it, just to see. It's kind of cool, actually. I think it's kind of slick, actually. It's a cool what's, concept. What's the name of the company, though? Trailblazer Firearms. Shout out to all you people that are from North Dakota. In that one video, you guys came out and told us about your real lives in real estate. So good job for being from there. And also an apology, we learned in the comments from that one video that uh, Neem Arms is made in Italy. No, the shotguns were. The shotguns were. Not the guns. Just, I mean, the guns were. We just talked about how they were American made. And then they yeah, it was like, screw that Yeah, up. those are made in Italy. How was it? That was pretty slick. Kind of like this. I'd buy another one to have one in my truck or each one of my cars. Kind of dig it. Next one, 44 Automag. I've heard different stories on these guns. I know Clint Eastwood made it popular in a movie. Anything else? I haven't shot it yet. But we're going to shoot it today. It all depends which one you get. If you get the earlier ones, I heard are much better than the later ones. I think it all depends on what company had the patent to build it. I don't know. I've heard different stories. I don't know what is true or not, but it's kind of a beast. I do have ammo for it. So we'll give it a shot and see how she does. And this is the 44 Auto Mag. Yep. Never shot it before. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah. my! <laughs> Holy crap! Was that that loud? This is out of the Auto Pas Mag Company, Pasadena, California. But it's a beast of a gun. It's so soft. What's so soft? Man. We got to find out how much we spent on guns this month. Oh, it's below my budget. I know that. Okay, I can't get that, but that doesn't give me any realm of idea. Also, by the way, people. Again, he was below his budget this month. So send us things that are for sale that are cool. If you send us things that are normal, we will not respond. I'll respond. I'm not that way. I try to. I think it was like 2000? 2000? I think. That was way higher than I expected. I think. Now I posted this on Instagram and a lot of people liked this gun a lot. It's a cool backpack gun. Side charging handle, which I kind of dig. The guys at Modern Warrior, I talked to David out there. He's the one that definitely hooked me up on this one. Got a nice stream light, light, strobe, or a rave. There's the rave. Silencer Co. Can. And of course, Trigicon RMR. Strike Industries built the stock system. It folds. I mean, fairly nicely, but shoots fabulous. So get what, the opportunity. What's the actual gun? Oh, sorry, it's a six hour P320. With how many rounds in that mag? That's a longer extended It mag. has a, let's say 10 rounds? We're not in California. It's 30-ish rounds. Yeah, I like this more one much of a better. Bigger one, this is more minimalist. Yeah, I like this one much better. How's that feel? I like it that a lot. I wish it would function a little bit better with the can. I'll try a different ammo. Didn't want to function right with the can at all, but we'll see. We'll play with it so we can figure it out. Yeah, the one thing I like about the Flux is it just gives you that spare mag in the front, so you have like a front. Yeah, I have a Flux. I'm not a big fan of it. For real? I like this one better. I dig the side charging handle though. That's a pretty P320. Is that just like a standard 320 yeah. or? Yeah, it's a standard. They have the, you take the lower part you take of the, the SIG off. Higher the polymer part. Yep. Yeah, you, you completely can, remove it and they put on this, this right. system that's Strike Industries. So that's quite a bit more modification than yeah, than your average. You're in you're in a permanent situation here. Right. Flex defense with your CAA gear group. You just push a button and you pop your pistol right. out and you have your pistol like right. normal like situation. It. Yeah, I like it as is too. If I only had one P320, I'd be annoyed. But you don't yeah. have to worry about that. And that cost? What that cost? It's twenty five hundred. Ish. ish. You gotta figure all that. The, the lights, lights, 400 bucks. The gun's 600, I think. The gun's 600, 600 lights, 400. 400. The RMR's 500, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Give or take. That piece, that bottom piece, is probably like a $1,500 or $1,700 piece. Give or take. I can get the receipt. It's in the box. Did they itemize it in the front? Yes, they did, actually. Cool.
Hey guys, this video is sponsored by 221B Tactical. You need to check out these pants. They're called the Asset Tactical Pants. They're pretty badass. Check these out. I have a spot for the pistol mag in the front pocket and the rear pockets. I have a spot for my AR mag, as well as a Velcro patch to put on my battle belt in a hurry. My favorite feature is the stretch material in the crotch. It keeps me mobile and flexible rather than tight and non-moving. Everything these guys make from their gear to their apparel has unique and uncommon features that you will not find anywhere else. All their products are well thought out and based on real world concerns that everyday folks like you and I have. This is why some have referred to 221B Tactical as the Tesla of Tactical Gear. Thanks to 221B Tactical for sponsoring this channel. I really appreciate it. You guys really need to go check out the pants. Next one, Cabot. 1911, which everybody knows I love. And this is part of the Gun of the Month Club. This is the October gun, I believe. They call this the Optimus Prime. I mean, you know, they make hand-fitted guns. You know, that's tight. <clears throat> very, very tight. Mammoth grips. I think, I don't know if it's, no, it's made by... Alchemy Custom Weaponry. That was that. It's Cabot. You can't go wrong with the Cabot. Damn thing shoots so nice. Get one, guys. Cabot Gun Company, LLC, hereby certifies that Optimus Prime is a limited edition offering 2222. They spelt it out. 22 <laughs> units produced as part of our Elite Gun of the Month collection for 2022. Prime is anything but robotic or modular. Every component is hand fit and blended by human hands. The slide and accompanying small parts are all engraved by hand and then polished and blued to accent the color case hardened frame. Mammoth ivory grips with polished nitrate blued screws put the lid on the jar of this classic all-American tribute to John Moses Browning. Alchemy Custom Weaponry is our line of classically gunsmith crafted pistols made under our roof and Optimus Prime is the first to be included in the gun of the month. Very nice. It's got the serial number, seven of 22 made, Robert A. Biancan, founder yep. and CEO. He's a good guy. Cabot Guns of the Month. What's Cabot of the Month cost again? Every month? It's like well, it varies. It's on subscription. It's, oh, it varies. Oh, yeah, it's not it, like a set price. It could range month. from 5 to 10 to 20. It just depends on whatever they want to send you, and they just yeah. send well, you the bill. Well, I talked to, well, I messaged Rob on Instagram the other day. He's going to send me, hopefully next month, you guys will see the one of, of his personal collection. It was only a one-off. And he's putting meteorite grips, I think, on it. Okay, this one, serial number three. I did buy two of them. Uh, this goes to the guys from Fallen Blue. Staccato did a big deal on it. All the money goes towards all the Fallen officers. You know, I'm a big believer in the Thin Blue Line. So this one is one of them, and the other one is going to be here hopefully the next couple weeks. But this is how the presentation box looks like. It's pretty sick. So this is serial number three. I tried to get one and two, but somebody beat me to it. So the lowest I can get was three. But the other gun that comes in is going to be their new model and I call it Baby Staccato. Yep, thin blue line, very nice. I mean, badass gun, guys. You guys need to get one. Hey, Staccato, guys. Love these guns. <sighs> Well-made gun. That's why I own a bunch of them, guys. You need to get one. You love it. I think that's it for this month. Uh, grand I'd, total of spend ish. Give me a ballpark. You said you were under your budget. What's your budget every month? Like 30k? I stay below 20 at all times. Because this costs what? If well, it comes as a pair, so you get two guns. So and it was a tax write-off as well. So 12,000 for two guns. And the other one's not here yet, but it'll be here soon. But it's serial number three to match this one. Kind of dig. I like the box on it for sure. So 12, 14, 16, like 25 this month. Yeah. Okay. Probably went over my budget then. <laughs> Okay. I don't like to add. It's very rare that I buy that many at one time. It's just how it fell in, the, you just, in my you lap. You just got a lot fewer guns for the... I always try to buy a gun that I don't already own. I don't like to have doubles if I don't have to. So this is obviously not a double. The pivot gun, the SIG's definitely not a double. I don't want... I never owned a 44 automatic. The Cabot, of course, is going to be different. So hope you enjoyed the mail call, guys. Take care. Hit like and subscribe. Bye-bye. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas.